Hey guys, welcome back today to a Vlogmas. Um, we picked, or actually Ezra picked our second Advent card and we read our verse earlier. And our activity for the day is to make um, Christmas Play-Doh. So, we are going to try to make, it's called salt dough, and we're going to dye it green with this aquatic greens. This has spirulina and corella. I think that's how you say those words in it and we're gonna dye or we're gonna scent it with this christmas tree essential oil blend from plant therapy then we're going to make one that's white and we're gonna scent it with this frosted mint this has a bunch of like conifer scents um like fur and some cedar wood tea tree different things like that it's a little bit different than the christmas tree blend um, anyway, so the white one will be this conifer smell, the green one will be the Christmas tree smell, and then we're going to dye um, a batch that's red, and I'm going to try to use this alkanet root to dye it. Now, it may turn out purpley colored because I have only used alkanet root in like, like lip balm salves before to give them a pink color. Um, I looked online for things that would give a red color to Play-Doh, and one of the things was beetroot, but beetroot always turns out purple to me. Um, and then another blog that I found said something about taking hibiscus flowers and grinding them down, and then you make like a water with the hibiscus flower, yeah, and then you use the water in your ingredients, and that makes like a red color. Some people said strawberries. That would make sense. Yeah, but we don't have any strawberries because it's winter. So I'm gonna try this alkanet root. So our candy cane may turn out purple or it may turn out red. We don't really know. I've seen, I've seen them both ways. Candy canes, purple candy canes. <laughs> okay, so we'll see. Um, this Play-Doh recipe is really easy. We have three pans. Will you put those two um, little copper pans back and get the medium sized copper pans out? Yeah, so we're gonna have three pans. Each pan will make um, one ball of Play-Doh. Um, I'm going to grab my recipe and then I'll come back and we'll kind of walk you guys through it and the boys are going to make it, okay? Okay, so the first thing that we need is half a cup of flour. So Judah, if you want to put a half a cup of flour in each of the pans, you can go ahead and do that. And Isaiah, if you'll get a half of a cup of water and you're gonna put it in each pan okay we'll mix everything together in just a minute we need a fourth a cup of salt so mom will do that wow that's a lot of salt I hope I have enough salt I have enough salt wait this is actually Judah's salt because he uses this for like science experiments and stuff oh wait is it <laughs> yes I'll have to replace it Did you get a half a cup in all of those? Yep, each one. Okay. All right. Let's all put those away. Some science experiments. Nice. I'm going to wait for black seed. Okay. Let me get right over here. plain flour. I'm just using unbleached white flour, a half a cup of water, a fourth cup of salt, and then we're going to do, oh, I didn't get it out, a half of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Except for the essential oils. I will be, yeah, this, we, this is not edible. You don't eat it. Okay. Yeah. I've this made is just for before. playing with. Yeah. I've made it edible before. Yeah. And it was delicious. <laughs> pretty much was just honey and peanut butter. Oh, I do remember you making that. Then I have the idea. Just like cookies. Up. Yeah. Then I have the idea to straight up mix honey with peanut butter. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of oil. And the half teaspoon of oil is just to help the Play Doh be really soft and not split and crack and crumble. It helps it to be real nice and doughy. So, do you guys, can you guys do this without over, over pouring? Because then it'll be all greasy. Did you just salt? Yeah, I did that with the salt. Yeah. Over like 
medium low heat and we'll use our little spatula thing and just stir really regularly. I'm just gonna do it three. Okay. Yeah. And Ooh, basically what we're trying to do is mix everything together and let the, um, the it'll thicken up and then let the water cook out. And then we'll add our coloring and our essential oils at the end. Hey Zay, where is your little orange one and your other one? You could get one and you could stir one and then Judah can stir one. Ah, perfect. You stir one and Judah, can you stir the back one? There's a blue one here. Okay, perfect. So you stir that one. Can you get your hand in there? Okay, so keep stirring because we don't want to let it burn. We want to mix it and get all of the flour mixed and incorporated into the water. And get all the lumps out of it, okay? All right, so you guys can see that it's starting to thicken up and kind of move away from the bottom of the pan. It'll form like a ball of dough in a little bit. of our pans is ready, right? Jay, is yours ready? Okay, so let's pour our dough out on a cutting board, then we'll color it, and then we'll put the essential oils in, okay? to the bottom when it stops sticking to the bottom and it rolls around like up like that where it's like not sticking then I think that it'll be ready okay, okay can will this one does this one roll oh yeah okay so these are like really um, not sticky at all they're really dry filling so Isaiah what we're gonna do um, that one can be the white one, so we'll leave it as is, and we'll dye these two. Can I so, do the red one? Sure. Thanks. It may stay in your hands, just so I you know. I don't care. Are you going to do this one red? or Let's do this one red. Okay, come over here. And we need to do a teaspoon of whatever food type of coloring you're using. If you decide to use actual drops of food coloring, I would just do like one or two drops and then keep adding it till it gets to the right color. Okay, so make... Um, so kind of ooh, lay it out flat and push like a little indention in there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this in. It looks it's black. It does look black. Okay, ooh, it stinks. <laughs> and then we're just gonna kind of. Look at that cabbage stuff that sticks in there. Ooh. It stinks really bad. Just don't want to mix it like that. And just, oops, start kind of, whoa. <laughs> Folding it in, okay, and I'll do green. The alkanet root is like purple, so it actually did what I thought beetroot would do. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to use beetroot because I thought it'd be too purple, but this is still purple. Well, purple and green are pretty. Mm. <laughs> so okay, was, so yeah, we'll have, it's still kind of hot. Um, let's move this over here. And you wanted to do the candy cane? Yes. I want and to. Judah, I want, do you want to do, do the, green. the green? Okay, so what I want you to do, again, is push a little hole in the center and put like maybe three drops in. So do it really carefully, and like three drops. It, and if it's not that, that's not And then we can like mix drops. it all up and then we'll do it again. That's good. Nice. Okay, and then fold it and start mixing it. You don't wanna get the essential oils directly on your hands. You just want it to work it into that dough really well.
sticking because it's just hot. Like if it cools down. Yeah, mine is cooled down. It's easier to. And I think this one's gonna need more essential oils because I don't think that these fur scented oils are very strong. Hmm. Yeah. Can you smell that? Yeah. I just smell. Okay. It's smells. It's definitely That's sticking really less. Good. Like so. Obviously, the more that it cools down, the less sticky it is. Um. It takes a little while to cool down. Okay. We're gonna get some um. Play-Doh toys and things out, and then we'll play with Play-Doh in just a second. Zay, what are you making? Oh, that's cool. It's a pizza, so what you're supposed to do... It's a rotten pizza. Mm -hmm. is, is really I'm going to cut this Play-Doh out right here. Mm -hmm. So, you take Play-Doh, you can reuse it because you need the perfect amount. You put it in there, and you stick it in the oven. So, there's also these things on it. Where you can take your stuff, print oh, it, it, cut it out. Those are like toppings, I guess? Yeah, I guess. And then you need one of these to put into the oven. I don't know. I think he's napping. Probably. No, I'm not going to touch it. So you put it in like that. Shut this. And the cool thing is when you pull this down, it actually counts to 15 seconds. How do you know that? I do. You just counted 15? Yes, I am. Monster! 15 is a Is it not working? Is it too full? Oh, okay, maybe. Okay. <laughs> you just forced it. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Nice. And it turns the redder. The, oh, I see. It got more red the, long, the further along it went. I have a bug. It's the way it's that works is this pushes it up. I'm looking at my bug. It's supposed to be, but it's weird. <laughs> it's got these eyes, a I nose, know. and a mouth. I oh, just smashed cool. the plate out and put these on it, and it looked like a bug to me, so I called it a bug. Okay. Okay, you know what I saw? Um, you're right, what are you doing? Like, try to make this thing. Um, so, it's like, what it does is when you squish this, I can show you a thing. Oh, and it, I cool. just, it's satisfying to hear the salt crackling in it. Uh huh. I heard it. I like it. <laughs> this guy fell asleep before we made our Christmas play doh, and he was the one that picked the advent card today and figured out what we were doing for a project, and he fell asleep. He can play with Play-Doh when he wakes up, though. I also thought I would take you guys outside and show you how much of the snow has melted. It's crazy. There's stuff all over the front yard where the boys have um, pulled stuff out. Like, there's a metal dust pan right there. And then this is, like, a thing that goes on the back of Dean's truck. I don't know why the boys have that pulled out. There's a bike over there. <laughs> Snow shovel way over there. I don't know what the boys have been out here doing, but. Yep, so it's all melting. It's pretty much off of the trees. And yeah, so we had a day of snow and the boys played a ton. And Pretty much like that, it's over. And look who I found. <coughs> look who I found laying on all the snow stuff. Little Charlie. Hi, buddy. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, handsome? Oh, yeah. He's gonna ignore me and go back to bed. This baby sleeps off and on all day. He's a good boy, though. And I can't find any more mold. Any more cookie cutters? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, that's cool. Christmas tree. Yeah, I messed up on the first one. Or not on the first one, on the second one. So I was going like this to make it look like a Christmas tree. And then um, I messed up on the second one. I think I might be able to fix it by going out. Oh, yeah. Much better. <laughs> Are you going to let it dry? 
Or, uh, yeah, but I will. Okay. Fix it all up. You may want to put it to, on a sheet pan with some don't um, have to parchment paper. Like a, I mean, or also it'll be for dry so that That's it true. Sticks. You're very smart. You I do have to put a hole, hole on it. Hey, Jay, you may want to get um, a nail. I need it. We have nails here and there. Uh, well, that works. Like that works right. You can poke yeah, the drill bit, right? That's what I used. But you may want to do it right in the top so that when it dries. I won. I Mama, I cannot find any more more. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching um, day two of Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys give the naturally dyed, naturally sanded Play-Doh a try, and I hope it works out for you. And don't use Alkanet Root if you want red Play-Doh. <laughs> okay, um, I will hopefully catch you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have a good day. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.